Hi guys, Brian here like always. Today I wanted to talk about uh, the dangers of improperly shutting down your computer. Right here I have a stuck hard drive and I also wanted to show you how to fix it. So pay attention to today's Chanley style. Remember, proper preparation is key to completing a successful project. <sighs> Opening a hard drive will absolutely void the warranty. This is my old IDE enclosure that I will be using to test and power this uh, stuck hard drive. Uh, the easiest way to tell if your uh, hard drive is stuck is once you apply the power, it's going to make this sound. So basically what happens is the writer is stuck on the platter and it can't rotate. My computer room is a relatively small space. With my filters on my computer, it actually creates a pretty dust-free environment. Most people would say you need a dust-free environment, but this is an old hard drive and I don't really care what happens to it. I'm not really going to be using it. I just want to crack it open to show you guys what this looks like. I'm actually using a T9H star bit or torx bit depending on what you want to call it pick them up pretty much anywhere uh, I did find that it's hard to find one small enough at a hardware store without having to buy a jewelers kit so I picked up a small set for 10 bucks on Amazon Downside of magnetic is, yeah, you just saw. If you're just trying to like save your data and you're not going to be using this hard drive for a long period of time, even if you do get a little bit of dust inside of it, once it spins up, it's not going to really be that much of an issue. The centripetal force will actually keep the dust off of the platters. Fortunately, I don't think I own any flathead screwdrivers because I never need them until, you know, cases like this. Okay, that's what a knife's for, right? Yay, knives. Totally forgot about that screw. My mistake. I did need to pry up the edges though because they use a pretty uh, solid adhesive on the top part. But if you see right there, both of the riders are stuck. So what you're going to do is just slowly rotate until they're both clear, like that. Oh, by the way, this is a anti-static foam. I just put that down for extra precautions. And the cardboard. It's just so I don't scratch my glass desk. All right. Let's go ahead and hook this thing up. If you listen closely, it almost spun up. Hmm, nope, that didn't fix it. This thing's just trashed. Well, normally that should fix it. Let me, uh, let me get back to you. So here's the mistake that I made. On newer hard drives, you can just press and they'll come off the platters. But if you look right here, there's a piece that you need to depress down and 
the writers come right off. That was completely my mistake. Let me put this thing back together and I'll get back to you. Upon further inspection, I found out that the damage was actually worse than I thought. The The rider basically was fried. It, it wouldn't move no matter what. The motor itself actually has burn marks in the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see that. So the motor's burned out and there's actually burns in the chipset itself too. So... Normally, that will fix a regular hard drive that has gotten stuck. The way things get the way things get stuck is basically, I was troubleshooting a computer. If it wouldn't boot, I'd go and hit the switch on the back and completely power it off. That's how mine got stuck. Other ways these can get stuck is if you're impatient and you're you know you're waiting for something to respond or you're you can't even go control out delete and you hold down the power button until it powers off. That's another way that this can happen, but since my hard drive was so old and I abused the shit out of it, it's just dead. Plain and simple. Um, I guess on a plus note, I'm just going to post up a bunch of random pictures of the inside of a hard drive, so if you're curious what that looks like, go ahead and check out my Facebook. If you liked my video and if this helped you in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and give that a like as well. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Twitch, and... This was a failed attempt at Chanley style. <laughs>